One Pride, what's the deal? It's your boy King, man. Um, got a game review for you guys, man. Uh, Detroit Lions lose to Car Carolina Panthers by three points. Uh, was able to bring the game within a field goal and a critical um, a, a critical first down play at the end um, pretty much sealed the deal for the Carolina Panthers. Um, why did the Lions lose this game? I'm going to say there's two major reasons why the Lions lost this game. Number one, the trenches. And number two, the coaching staff. Um, we lost the trenches on both sides of the ball. Let's just get into that first. Uh, we we did not add pressure to Cam Newton in, what, in, in no way, shape, or form. Um, and for the guys that was, uh, you know, bashing the corners, what you got to understand is if you don't get pressure on the quarterback and Cam Newton get to stand back there and pretty much pick his nose all day, it's not good for the corners because those receivers get to run extended routes out there and you'll get slammed. So by them not adding pressure at all, I mean, it was like the, the Panthers was just building a wall the whole uh, game. And pretty, into the, pretty much into the fourth quarter. So, um, you're not getting pressure, you're going to get killed. And that's exactly what was happening to the Lions when they was having trouble stopping uh, the Carolina Panthers. But on the flip side, the offensive line did nothing today. Absolutely nothing. Um, they did not provide holes for the running back. They did not provide protection for Matthew Stafford. Uh, his ankle and his thigh both got hurt. Um, you know, hand messed up, but of course, you know, Matthew Stafford is going to stick it out. Um, they did not protect, they did not protect them whatsoever. Uh, bad decisions on play calling. Oh God, the play calling today was ridiculous, man. We was throwing the ball way too heavy in the first half of the game. We, we went away from the run a little bit too early. And then, uh, you know, this this thing with throwing the ball to Eric Ebron, man. Eric Ebron should be on the bench. You should not be throwing the ball. This is the second consecutive game that Darren Fell showed you that he is your tight end. Robert should have had a, a, a opportunity. But instead, we still have Eric, Eric Ebron out there on the field. He should be on the bench. Um, bench him for a few games, and hopefully that'll help. But I don't think nothing can help the guy. The guy just got, he just got brick hands, man. It is what it is. He can't catch hot passes from Stafford. Um, they go right through his hand and hit his chest. So, with that being said, Darren Fell should have been incorporated from the offense from the first fucking snap of the game. Um, yes, he can block, but he can catch the ball. Um, and potentially get you a few yards afterwards, man. Just the same way the Panthers was uh, using their tight end, Dixon, tearing us apart, Whitehead. Um, the same thing the Lions should have been doing with, with Darren Fells, man. Uh, so, I mean, as soon as you say hike, though, they, they, they own Matthew Stafford. They own uh, uh, Theo Reddick and Abdullah in the backfield. The offensive line did absolutely nothing, man. We lost in the trenches on both sides of the ball and we failed to, you know, create turnovers today. So, um, and that's most of the part due to the fact, again, to the trenches, you know, most of our create turnovers has to do with pressure and we got none of it today. So, um, they definitely got to get back to the, um, drawing board with that. Um, second thing, coaching staff, not just the play calling is what I'm talking about. I don't understand why with five minutes and something on the clock, why are you burning timeouts, Jim Caldwell? Jim Caldwell burnt all of our timeouts again. This is the second time this year he's done this. Burnt our timeouts instead of just, uh, you know, go ahead and, and, and try to get a, a good series and let the clock run, you know what I'm saying, now because you still have a two-minute warning and you will have three timeouts. Instead, he uses the timeouts before the two-minute warning, which was absolutely idiotic to me. Um, and it caused Cam Newton them to be able to run the clock out. You should have saved at least two, at least two of those timeouts. Um, but no, they expended them. Tara Austin, yes, you get 
uh, you, you get the, the bony finger of blame today too. Uh, I don't know what the fuck he dialed up that last play uh, before, you know, they, they got that last conversion to end the game. You should have had your, your corners and your safeties lined up at that first down fucking line. But instead, you had one fucking safety back, and it killed you. I don't know what the fuck type of play call that was, man, but at all costs, unprotected the first down mark. Because at that point, the defensive line was starting to get some pressure on, on Cam Newton. So I'm protecting the fucking line. Instead, they did what they did, man, and it cost us the goddamn game at the end. Um, the Lions play throughout caused us the game at the end. Uh, it's not no one person. I don't want to start hearing, you know, one person called us the game. The Lions failed today on many different levels. And especially, uh, you know, not being able to, pr to produce offense uh, in the first half, you know, as, as much as they should have. Um yeah, man, but the, the line, they, it, like I said, it's this Dr. Jekyll offensive line that we have, man. They show up one game, then they step back to the game. And they'll have to get that together, man. But uh, it's only week five. That's the plus side to it. We go into New Orleans, man. Um, and I'm definitely looking forward to that because I believe the Lions will go to New Orleans and definitely take care of business, man. Um, and then after that, bye week. That's what I am. I want to get to this bye week so bad, man. The Lions need time to rest and recuperate. Um, they need time to recover, man. And at the same time, some get some good practice together and some good game planning going on, man. Um, it was definitely good to see Jared Davis back. This guy was blasting through that line and shit, getting, you know, tackles in the backfield. And it's good to see him just out there running around, being able to do what he do, man. Um, but Whitehead, I can't stand Whitehead. I tried to tell somebody at my job, man, that games from Whitehead was fluke. But, uh, you know, he was getting killed today. Him and Bellor was both getting killed today um, by that tight end. Um, but that being said, um, definitely looking forward to the bye week, man. Um, looking forward to getting Taylor Decker back, man. Got to get De Taylor Decker back. They said he was on course to return midseason. So definitely looking forward to uh, – Get this guy back, man, and get the complete line. Uh, the offensive line and the defensive line both got uh, some work to do, man. So we'll definitely see what happened against the New Orleans Saints. Now it's time to watch the Dallas Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers. I'm betting my money on uh, on Dallas today. I think Dallas is going to go ahead and do what they got to do to try to pull out a win today. Um, I think my player for Dallas today is Ezekiel Elliott. I think Ezekiel Elliott will eat today. Um, and I'm, I'm backing on them guys to win. Um, so we'll definitely see what happened with that game, but that's my analysis of the game, man. Um, no anger videos. The lions are not going to win every goddamn game. So I don't know what it is with you fans, but the lions lose one game. It's the end of the goddamn world. I don't get it, man. Oh, uh, you should have seen some of the stuff. I ain't going to put nobody out there, but you should have seen some of these lukewarm-ass Lion fans, man. Um, even in my own goddamn crew. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, let's get on to the next game, man. I mean, the Lions just got to do what they got to do, man. So, it's your boy King, man. Smash the like button for your boy, man. I'll catch up with you guys next game.